Hello, welcome to Switchland Gaming, Paul speaking, and that is something I didn't think I'd probably ever say again. Um, if you're a follower of this channel, you will uh, maybe be wondering where I went. Um, I've been away for about 18 months, uh, not in prison, um, but just away from the channel. I kind of lost uh, lost love of it a little bit and um, stopped making videos, really. My last video was in February 2023, so say 18 months ago so quite a while ago but i've missed it i've got a switch again i've got a nice shiny oled switch and i've had that for a, a couple of months and i'm kind of getting back into the where i left off on the switch so that's been really good and seeing some of the games that come out in the interim have been really nice to look at so i'm not going to go into too deep of a dive i hate these sort of um, channel update videos i find them a little bit self-indulgent so just know that i am back i'm looking forward to getting back involved and uh, seeing what new games come out, making videos for everybody, doing some list videos and say catching up on what I've missed out on. Um, what I thought I would do this week is just look at the eShop because especially on the 12th of September this week, there's an absolute wealth of quality games that came out. So I thought I'd combine this sort of uh, update with a look at what games did come out and just um, sort of my picks really so the ones that caught my eye this week starting off with obviously the marvel capcom fighting collection um this is one i've been looking forward to i'm not the, the biggest fighting game fan but i do like these marvel v capcom games and uh, it's great to get this on the switch i think it's reviewed really well from what i've seen I had a little look around at some reviews this week and I think generally it's been really positive. This is the game that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on, the Punisher, sort of side-scrolling beat-em-up. Uh, remember that from the arcades, that was really good. So, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom. Not sure if I'll pick it up on the Switch. Um, £40 in the UK, so it's quite a heavy price tag, but it'll go on the wish list and maybe pick it up when it's on sale. But I'm sure lots of people have picked it up, and if you have... Drop me a comment below and let me know what you think of it. Um, this as well, I've not looked too much into this, but just it did catch my eyes. I was flicking through the eShop. Fabledom looks like a cozy city builder. So they're always good, but I think, I don't know about you, I'm absolutely drowning in cozy games. I don't know how many more I can take, but uh, I think that will be quite popular. So that was another one that caught my eye. Uh, one I've certainly had my eye out on for a couple of months since sort of catching glimpse of it i think probably on twitter or somewhere but caravan sandwich um i've kind of had this dream of making a game of traveling around in a in a camper van and ironically there is a game coming out like that i don't think it's going to come to the switch but it is coming out on pc sort of travel around in a in a vw um camper van and sort of just a, a quite a chilled relaxed um, sort of game but this looked like something similar so caravan sandwich looks like you're traveling around in this sort of camper buggy and uh, it's billed as kind of a quite chilled out exploration game and um, definitely interested in picking this up what i have seen on the switch though looks pretty rough to be honest um, so again might be one i pick up on another platform um, but certainly interested in that. And it's £20 at the moment, so it's got 10% off. So a nice little price there. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw as well is another one that caught my eye. And again, all these came out on the 12th. So it was quite a, quite a mad week. Um, so Lollipop Chainsaw, I think is an old uh, Xbox 360 game. I never played it first time around. Um, seen some footage of it and it looks quite interesting. Uh, again, had a look at a few reviews this week. Seems to be average to good um, reviews. Nothing sort of uh, out of out of this world. But I don't know. It looks quite interesting. And again, might be one that I'll stick on the wish list for a sale down the line. Uh, I think thirty-eight pounds for a sort of a, a remaster is a little bit. I don't know. A little bit rich, but. Again, we'll uh, probably pick that one up on sale. Then we've got Self Loss. This one has been um, sort of showcased on a lot of the Nintendo Directs recently. So they've kind of been pushing this and got high hopes for it. I don't know a lot about it, but it does look really nice. Again, looks like one of these kind of uh, 3D 
adventure sort of exploration games with a no doubt a heartstring sort of story going on behind it um, from the title and from the look of it again I think it's going to be quite popular because of the press it got on those directs so 21 quid there in the UK it looks quite nice Wild Bastards is another one that really caught my eye I think I reviewed Void Bastards first time around so that was the first game uh, this is the sequel um, I don't think it's a direct sequel it feels like it's got some different gameplay elements this is probably going to be one I'm going to pick up uh, this week so watch out for a video later in the week on this one I really really enjoyed Void Bastards I like roguelike games and first person shooters so it was kind of right in my wheelhouse and, and I did enjoy that um, this one I've seen some weird reviews on I think PC Gamer gave it like 91 out of 100 which is huge for them if you anyone that follows PC Gamer is a huge score they, don't, they very rarely give anything 90 plus and then I've seen other reviews giving this sort of fives out of ten. So real wide range of, of scores for that. But I'm probably going to pick it up, as I say, this week and uh, make a video on that. Uh, another game, again, came out this week. Downfall. Now, this one caught my eye initially because of this art style. This looks like sort of Darkest Dungeon, that thick black outline sort of art style. I really like that art in Darkest Dungeon, so immediately caught my eye. Then sort of flicking through, I think some of the screenshots look pretty good. Like that looks quite nice. This was the one that kind of put me off. I really don't like that font and those buttons. It looks really basic, sort of thing you'd, you'd make in, um, you know, Game Maker or something yourself. So I've got kind of some reservations about the quality of it. So I'm going to cautiously approach this one. If I do pick it up, I will make a video of it. But this again looks like a top-down roguelike um, shooter, I think, sort of dungeon crawler. It's only £4.85, so I might take a punt on it and I'll let you know what that's like later in the week. Um, there was one other game as well, Beneath Aressa. It's a game that I've had my eye on for a couple of years, actually, because it came out... Let's not play the, uh, play the video. This came out on PC... Um, so a couple of years ago, it's been sort of sitting around my Steam wish list, and every time it goes down in a sale, kind of I'm in an R in whether to pick it up. But I think now it's on the Switch, probably going to get the Switch effect, and uh, I'm probably going to pick this up. It's a deck building fighting game. Really like deck builders. Um, I think from what I've seen of this, it's kind of middling reviews. Nothing, again, absolutely out of the ordinary. But as I say, as a big fan of rogue, uh, roguelikes and card building games, deck building games, I think it's probably going to be too much to turn down. Now, a little tip here. This is £20 in the UK, uh, which is quite a lot. As I say, it's been out a few years on Steam. But if you know the trick of switching stores, if you switch to the South African store, this is basically half price. It's under £10 on the South African store. So... I'll be doing that and picking it up from South Africa. If you're not sure about what I'm talking about, if you check back on my videos, and if I remember, I'll stick a link in the description. But I did do a video on how to switch regions and pick up some bargains, so bear that in mind. But I think that was all the games that came out on the 12th, and it was just, like, as I say, you know, what a week for some nice-looking games. As I say, my, my picks would probably be Caravan Sandwich, maybe on another platform. Wild Bastards, certainly from how that's reviewed. Marvel vs. Capcom, um, that's, you know that's kind of almost guaranteed quality if you've played those games before. But there are some of the games that I like this week. And as I say, it's nice to be back making videos again, so keep your eyes out. I've got some uh, videos planned for this week, so I've got a few racing games to catch up on. So we wanted to talk about Circuit Superstars that came out in the time I've been away from the Switch and that was a game that I uh, made a few videos on on the channel for the PC version and we kind of ended every one of those videos with um, I hope this comes to the Switch soon. Uh, I think I made two or three videos. Um, that finally did come out on the Switch so certainly want to be looking at that. Also New Star GP again a game I think I covered on PC on the channel. And that came out on the Switch in the interim. And uh, again, really, really been enjoying it. 
put in a lot of time of this uh, so far. So I'll, I'll be highlighting that on the channel some point over the next week or two. Really good game. And there's also Super Wooden GP2 came out as well. So be looking at that. Some new racing games. I know they're always quite popular on the channel. So be good to cover those. Also got FIFA 25 or not FIFA, is it EAFC 25? I'll never stop calling it FIFA. Uh, that's out this week as well so look out for that so big mix of stuff uh, as i said it's good to be back drop me a comment below if you're an old time um member of the channel good to hear from you but as i say looking forward to making videos and uh, interacting with you all again so thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep your eyes peeled this week for more videos and i'll catch up with you soon cheers everyone bye bye